Are you deaf? Where are you coming from? Where else, if not Antinata? What stupid Antinata are you coming from? By this time of the day, it is almost 6.30 p.m. But wait a second. You told me you only go for Antinata's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Why today, Saturday? Meanwhile, you left without keeping food for me. Yeah. I am not in the mood for this rubbish show. As you can see, I am pregnant and exhausted. If you are hungry, you know where the kitchen is. Go in there and make food for yourself and stop disturbing my life. Do you understand? Nonsense. Hey, listen, this sudden change in your attitude, if you don't put the reverse to it, it will spoil things for you. It will spoil things for you. Can you imagine such an awkward thing about my friend? The Camilla I know never throws herself at any man, no matter the circumstances. Well, she has been doing it for some time now. Yes! Babe, listen. I am no longer comfortable around her. That's the truth. Now I get it. Because she deprived you of a job, sent you out, now her presence irritates you. Come on. Do you have to frame my own friend just because you don't want her around me? Can you imagine? Look, look how you sounded. You sounded so pathetic. You are the one sounding pathetic. And I don't know why. You want to know why? You want to know why? Your friend has been chewing passes on me. Your friend, your friend Camilla, wants to live with me. Now you understand. I Do don't you get understand it? why you have to create such cock and boo stories about my friend. I don't understand why you don't want my friend around me. I don't even understand you! I don't hate her! Don't forget! I don't hate her! I know you don't understand anything. But I want you to understand that I love you so much. And I, I, I will not do anything to hurt you. 
I, I want you to also understand that I will not lie just for my own personal interest. And also I want you to understand that our, our emotions and actions are two different things. The way we react to them matters a lot because that is what we are going to give account of. And I also want you to understand that. Stop. Just stop. If I might love you so much. I'm sorry I raised my voice on you. My parents did not bring me up that way. I love you so much, I'm sorry. And I love you too. I want you to know that I love you so much. I love my gift. Another man poison the meat for another man. Aye, so what you did just Jay, is another man pray for it. Jay, that thing you reject, someone else really wants it so bad. I so make you know they fun. Cause this life not turn by turn. Until now that I am here, Nabika, what happened? Uh, Indeed, there is fire on the mountain. And your daughter, this Eloy, is the mountain. And the fire of tradition will consume her if care is not taken. <laughs> what happened? Uh, since that young man, Iferi Bamaru, surfaced in this our community with his little wealth and affluence, your daughter, Honoru Diseloy, has been visiting us about to and fro, which my very good friend, Eminike, the bus driver, confirmed to me this morning. Are you by any way suspecting my daughter of infidelity? Um, I suspect his presence rejuvenated the nostalgia that brought back their relationship. And since then, she's been visiting that young man. Nabike, okay. are you aware that your wife is heavy with a child? How come you accuse her wrongly? I know my wife, your daughter, loves that young man, Iferi Bama. And ever since then, she has been visiting him. If care is not taken, I'm sure she has been opening and closed for him. And that will definitely tear my home apart. Hmm. Opening and closing. Call your wife for me. I want to see her. If you need to understand that my love for you cannot die. I can't watch that girl take you away from me. Come back to me. I need to feel your warmth inside me. I love you so much and I must have you back. Your father wants to speak with you. He's right in front of the house. Okay.
been standing here for a while now and you have not said anything. I remember you said that your pregnancy is over six months old. And that does not establish the fact to you that you will soon be a mother. A mother of a baby. I never trained you like this. I never trained you to be following men around. But my condition may not allow me to stand here for too long. But that same condition allowed you to be moving up and down to the city looking for your fairy mama. What has come over you? What has come over you, my daughter? You. you have come over me. You have succeeded in pushing me to make the greatest mistake of my life by marrying Inabike against my wish. Papa, let me tell you. From the first day Ife drove into this compound to see me and my husband, I wished I was still single. I wished it was his baby I was carrying and not Inabike's. God forbid. Oh. God forbid. All of this, hello, you, this is not you. Papa, this is me. I love Ife very much. And I will do everything within my power to bring him to myself. And nobody will stop me, not even you. But fate. Fate has made it to be so, my daughter. Originally, both of you were not meant to be together. For the fact that both of you love each other does not mean that you spend the rest of your life together as husband and wife. No, my daughter. Please, already say hello. My daughter, fate has played the first one on you. So please, let go. Let go, my daughter, and marry your husband. Face in Nabike, your husband, please. Papa, Ife is not yet married. I still have the chance to get him to myself. Watch me set my strategies. What? What have I done to myself? What have I done to What are you doing with my phone? Playing games? Um, no, maybe watching my wife's beautiful pictures. Are you okay? Or is there something you're hiding you want to talk about? How did the meeting go with my father? I thought you would have explained it. Right? Never mind. I was just curious. And I am also curious why you are spending more time with that man than, than me, your husband. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the voice notes, the messages and the seductive pictures you've been sending to him. I... Nabike, I... See... Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. I know you, my wife, and I know when you start stammering. Obsession and insecurity is the canker one that eats deep in every relationship these days. If Iribama is your past, and I'm your future, and your present, it's about time you let that young man go before you allow this whole drama destroy our marriage. Why are you saying all these things to me? 
Listen, I am your husband and I love you and I will protect you. None that you're eventually not thinking straight. I need to help you be in the right shape of mind before you allow your past to hurt you. Don't let the fire of love consume our marriage. I'm confused. I'll leave you all by yourself. But you can meet me inside eventually. Test is another man prayer for you. I that thing you reject. Someone else wants it so bad. Hey, so make you no cry when you throw away a precious treasure. Someone might pick you up. That time you gonna no say you don't lose. Hey, hey, another man meet is another man poison. No. Yeah, another man poison a meat for another man. Hey, so what you did test, Jay, is another man prayer point. Jay, that thing you reject, someone else really wants it so bad. I right, so make you know the fun. You see, your call came in as a matter of urgency. I, I, I hope there's no problem. There's no problem with the land business we did. Man, man. Uh, but you see, your presence in my house is causing a very, very big problem between my wife and I. <laughs> she is my wife. Please leave her alone for me. I know the both of you must have shared something in the past. Uh, but you see, it's about time you left her alone for me. You see, I, I want you to believe me. I don't have anything to do with your wife. We, we don't have anything. Trust me, we don't. The truth is that she has not accepted to, to move on. But I believe in no time she will. Uh, yes. She will accept. Yes, she will accept. See, your presence is tearing my home apart. It is tearing my family apart. Listen, that is why I came to speak to you as a gentleman. I, I, I know you understand what I said. I, I do, but I will see you next time. I, I, I don't have anything to your wife. It, it's all right. I won't leave my water for you, but I will see you next time. It is quite very unfortunate. Very unfortunate that every gold digger is a casino. Of Very unfortunate. You see that young man that came here and warned you to stay away from his wife. The same way I am warning you to stay away from Tara. Stay away from Tara. Thank you, sorry, time I did this environment.
look who we have here. to be left alone. Ifirebama, don't you think that you have been caught in this mirage called love? It doesn't seem to you that Tara would never, ever marry you? Why are you building your emotions on this illusion called love? Why? See, I, I love a mother. And trust me, we're the just fine. And we're going to get married. Hi. I'm going to invite you. Right. I am not disputing the fact. I'm not doubting you too. <laughs> now, have you wondered on how you're going to raise a family with someone who is asthmatic. Yeah, that's it. That's the look. <laughs> of course, she didn't tell you. I uh, know she won't tell you. I know. <laughs> yeah. Tara is asthmatic. And her genotype is A-S. <laughs> that's it again. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Camilla, why are you telling me all this? Why am I telling him all this? Because I care, sweetheart. Yes, my love, I care. You see, um... The real marriage starts after the wedding. Ta -la. <laughs> you get that right? Of course. And for all sweet, sexy, handsome, peace loving guy like you. It would be so sad for you to be caught in such a mirage. You mean a trap? Because your partner is having health challenges. Okay? And I deem the faith to let you know because I care. I sincerely care about you. You see, whatever I do, all these things I'm saying to you right now, I say them because I care about you. All right? You know, that sounds more like being desperate. It doesn't sound romantic at all. Do you think so? Hey, cutie. I love you. I'm ready to give you Everything I have. Just give me a chance, darling. Come on, let's stop. Just back.
It's okay, just spray. <laughs> You know, initially I thought you were joking. Yeah. I thought this was all a joke. But now I know you're seriously, emotionally and desperately insane. Camilla, stop it. Stop. Stalking me. It's another man prayer for you. I got to reject someone else wanted so bad. Hey, so make you no cry when you throw away a precious treasure. Do you really have to do that? Do you have to go to the city to confront Ife about me? Oh yes, I have to do whatever it takes to stop the ship of my marriage from sinking. And if going to the moon is what it will take me, yes, I will do it. Leave Ife alone. Oh no, you should leave Ife alone. You should leave it very by my alone. You should leave him alone. You are a married woman and my wife at that. What has come over you? Listen, it's about time you establish the fact that nothing will bring the both of you together again. Take that into your head. This is one fact I wish can be reversed. If he completes me, he has got the better part of me. Nobody. Nobody can ever fill the vacuum our dead love created. And that is why I will resurrect it. How dare you sing the praises of another man in my presence? Do not push me. Do not push me. This alone, do not. You want to hit me? Go ahead. Hit me. You see why Ife is different from you? He will never attempt to raise his hand on me, no matter the provocation. Hit me! Do it now! Oh yeah, hit! Hit me!
Oshi. Who were you with yesterday? God, don't give me that ungodly look. I, uh, I don't know how I got this. I, I, I don't. I, 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 I wasn't with any woman yesterday. I wasn't. How about this Eloy? Her text messages, her chats, and her seductive pictures on your phone. How would you explain that? Well, when a woman decides to look into a man's phone, she would definitely be you. You bastard! You cheat on me and you have the guts to tell me that. I have never cheated on you. And I will not cheat on you. How do you explain a female lipstick on your shirt? And your ex-girlfriend's text messages on your phone. Those lipsticks. That is Camilla's. I told you she has been stalking me, but you never believed me. And for this alloy, she has been unnecessarily obsessed about our past experiences. She's just jealous. She's jealous about this relationship and trust me, in no time she's going to get over it. Can, can you hear yourself talk? You tell me that casually and you expect me to believe you? If you don't trust me, then why do you love me? Why? This is just a phase in our relationship and I know. I know. And I want us to overcome it. We must overcome it. I'm just mad at you right now. Well, you don't have to be. You are schmatic, right? When I found out that I get mad at you, who told you that? Camilla did. She's doing everything to make sure that it doesn't work for the both of us. It doesn't work for us. She's so jealous of our relationship. But trust me, I love you. Tara, I love you. And I love you so. 